Shop Media. Today is Friday, September 25th, and this is what is happening on the mountain. Just a quick overview of what you can expect today and over the weekend. Uh, currently, there are three Caltrans projects scheduled that will be affecting your traffic today, uh, tomorrow, and uh, overnight on Sunday. Of course, State Route 38 remains closed uh, to through traffic, only uh, residents of those uh, Highway 38 corridor communities, uh, Forest Falls, uh, Mount Home Village, Angeles Oaks, Seven Oaks, etc., are going to be allowed in today, uh, and that is with a, um, a proper identification. Uh, Caltrans is still working to repair their guardrails and the road surface and stuff like that, so it's not uh, safe for through commuting uh, quite yet. That should uh, hopefully. Uh, that might hopefully change today, uh, but we'll keep you posted. Uh, weather is going to look nice through the weekend. No hazardous weather currently forecasted. Uh, we are still expecting that onshore flow to transition into an offshore flow, bringing some uh, gusty winds possibly on Monday. And of course, with that offshore flow, uh, we should expect to see some lower humidity and some warmer air. Uh, so that will um, potentially increase our fire risk. Uh, it's still not 100% certain um, what it might look like. It does look like it's gonna be pretty weak uh, as far as the Santa Ana event is concerned, uh, but we will keep you updated on that. The El Dorado fire is holding at uh, 2,604 acres, just a gain of three acres overnight uh, and holding at 81% containment. You might notice some smoke coming out uh, from the fire today, uh, which it hasn't done for a few days. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty normal, and it's uh, no risk to uh, anybody right now. It's actually burned. It's a pocket, an island, they call it, burning inside the black, uh, so well within the containment line. Uh, there have been two crimes reported across the mountain in the past 24 hours. Southern California Edison currently has three uh, ongoing power outages uh, that are scheduled, affecting a 20, uh, total of 64 customers. And uh, in the fire, in the El Dorado fire area, uh, there's still 905 customers without power as crews continue to work hard to uh, repair or restore their service. And uh, one new COVID case reported on the mountain today. So that's what I have in a nutshell. If you have a few minutes to stick around, we'll go into greater details on those topics, starting with traffic uh, currently. Uh, in the Arctic Circle, I, I had to turn off the scanner to do this report, but they were, were units report uh, responding to a car fire in the Arctic Circle. They hadn't found anything yet. I was listening to it for a little while, so it might have just been somebody overheating or brakes or something like that. So uh, we'll do a separate post if that turns out to be anything. Uh, but uh, no uh, major incidents going on right now. Over in the Fonskin area, uh, over near Red Robin Drive today, Caltrans uh, is doing some repaving operations, so watch for that pilot car uh, until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. And then uh, other than Highway 38 still being closed um, for through traffic, they are only letting residents of those mountain communities in here. Uh, Forest Falls, Mount Home Village, Angeles Oaks, Pines Anita, Seven Oaks, um, up to about three miles from uh, Onyx Peak. That is just uh, for those local residents that live in here. Through traffic, including residents of Big Bear, you'll still have to go around uh, either up the 38 to the 18 or on the backside from the 18. And that might change this afternoon or into this evening. I haven't got the official word yet, but they were working really fast uh, to get that open for everybody. Uh, also overnight, uh, and on the 3.30, they have that long going closures and the evening on the transitions between the 2.10 and the 3.30. Uh, it varies from night to night, whether it's the transition to the northbound or southbound 3.30, or if it's the eastbound or westbound 2.10. Uh, but from 10 o'clock at night to seven in the morning, you might be down to one. Uh, one of those might be closed. Of course, they'll have a detour. Uh, you won't get stuck. Uh, you can go around on Highland. Uh, they'll have a detour posted. And then also overnight, you can expect uh, over the weekend uh, on the backside of 138, um, on the backside of 138 going towards Silverwood, it'd be down to one lane as Caltrans does some striping operations. 
And as a reminder, please slow for the cone zone. Weather's going to look great for the next few days. Uh, highs in the mid to upper 70s across most of the mountain communities. Uh, the slight change uh, in the weather pattern is expected for Monday as uh, this uh, coastal eddy leaves the area off our coast uh, and is replaced by a high pressure system that is going to move in and settle in over the basin, uh, over the Great Basin for uh, five days or so. And that'll uh, change our wind from an onshore flow to an offshore flow. Uh, and as that transition happens, especially on Monday morning, we can expect to see some breezy conditions uh, that, of course, anytime we have winds, uh, uh, and especially coming from where it is coming, this, is, this will be a, a mild Santa Ana event. Um, and, of course, anytime we have winds, uh, we are at greater risk of fire. Uh, but again, it's, it is a mild event. Uh, and then that low pressure system is going to, I'm sorry, that high pressure system is going to hang out with us for a while, which will give us some warmer temperatures, some drier air, uh, and hopefully not a lot of wind. Uh, so th th there is no uh, rating being given to this wind as far as the, the threat goes. Uh, and so it is a very weak system. Our fuel moistures continue to dry out, which is always problematic, but that's pretty typical for this time of year. Uh, you can see the wind remains on Friday and Saturday uh, as an offshore flow, and then on Sunday it starts, uh, I'm sorry, an onshore flow, and then on Sunday it transitions to an onshore flow, and uh, Monday mornings when we're expected to see our greatest gusts of about 13 miles an hour. No fires currently reported other than the El Dorado fire. We remain at a slightly elevated risk of a new fire start and potential for fire growth. Um, and on the forest floor, our fire danger remains extreme, which is normal for this time of year. So with that, there are those closures and fire restrictions. In fact, the Forest Service just announced that they're going to extend the forest closure uh, for forest activities uh, uh, through at least this weekend. Um, and then our Long range forecast is elevated for the next three or four months, at least through the end of the year, uh, as our Santa Ana's are likely to return, um, with starting with that small system or that small event on Monday. No fires burning on the mountaintop. Uh, you might see some smoke coming out of the El Dorado fire, uh, and it's not uncommon for pockets to find uh, unburnt fuel. And uh, so you will see some smoke today. They uh, know about it. They got a handle on it. It's well within the black, so it's not going to be a risk or a threat to anybody. And it shouldn't uh, cause uh, any evacuations or delay in getting that highway open. So right now we're holding that about a three acre gain overnight to 22,604 acres and holding at 81% containment. Just two crimes reported on the mountain uh, in the past 24 hours. Over here in the Crestline area, somebody was arrested for possession with the intent to sell uh, either heroin or morphine. And then over here in Crest Park, right uh, at the high school, there was an arrest made for somebody in possession of uh, some other type of narcotic. There are currently three Edison outages that are scheduled, uh, maintenance outages. 31 customers over here between BOE and Cedar Pines Park, 31 customers without power. Uh, that should actually be re restored pretty soon uh, due to pole upgrades over here in Twin Peaks in the same area where they've had power outages off and on for the last month or so. Uh, Edison crews are working uh, to upgrade power poles as well. And so 20 customers are currently without power until later this afternoon at around 4.30. Same over here in Lake Arrowhead, 13 customers are without power as Edison crews does equipment upgrades until four o'clock. And then lastly, over here in the fire area, uh, uh, Forest Falls, Mountain Home Village, uh, there's uh, 905 customers currently without power uh, as crews work to make repairs uh, that were caused by the fire. Lastly, our COVID-19 update. This county still uh, is on a downward trend as far as total 
uh, number or total new cases are reported um, about the level we were uh, before summer started. Uh, but and good news is we haven't had a death reported for eight days. Uh, so that is great news for the county. However, uh, we were one week into uh, the two week holding pattern that we needed to be in in order to drop into the lower tier from widespread to substantial. And a few days ago, uh, we reported too many cases countywide to meet that criteria. So even though we're doing great, it's not good enough for now. And this is likely a little uptick as a result of the Labor Day holiday. And we should hopefully see that number start coming back down. And my understanding is that we have to be in this uh, substantial area for 14 consecutive days before those restrictions uh, are relaxed. Um, not sure if they give us an average, if we average it out over 14 days or not. Um, we're still waiting to hear back. But for right now, uh, we need to drop a few cases per 100,000 and uh, total new cases reported daily uh, in order to uh, be able to go into the substantial, which will open up the county for things such as indoor dining and uh, movie theaters and things like that. Of course, over a positivity rate, uh, we certainly uh, are getting a, a lot of people tested and a lot of those people are getting tested are coming back negative. So the more people we can test, the more of those negative test results come back, the better it is for the county as well. What does that look like for the mountain? Uh, one new case reported uh, today. Uh, Angeles Oaks is holding at 344 for Big Bear. One new case in Big Bear Lake, bringing the total to 57. 12 in Blue Jay, 7 in Cedar Glen. 73 in Crestline. 3 in Fonskin, 7 in Forest Falls. 1 for Green Valley Lake. 32 in Lake Arrowhead. 4 in Rim Forest. Running Springs, 27. Uh, Sugarloaf, 12. And Twin Peaks, 12. Uh, that gives us an overall a positivity rate uh, or an incident rate, uh, basically the number of cases divided by the population of 0.58%, which is significantly better than the rest of San Bernardino County, which is approaching 2.5%, uh, certainly a lot better than the 2% uh, statewide and a little over 2% uh, countrywide. So uh, again, this is Scott from Scott Shot Media. Feel free to email me and text me. Of course, like this page if you want to continue to receive these uh, updated daily videos uh, or for breaking news. And you can certainly follow along on the other social media channels at Scott Shot Media. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will give you updates uh, whenever we have uh, breaking news or any changes to the um, fire uh, and road opening.